Hi everyone, Reginald Kong go back with Dr. Milk. And I forgot to turn my fan off. Uno momento. Yeah, you did. Okay. While he's gone, I'm gonna talk about Dr. Jiro from Dragon Ball. I finally looked up his, uh... Yes. His name pun, because all the characters in Dragon Ball have a, uh... They all, they're all named after Japanese puns, or maybe English puns Yeah, sometimes. but they're not always food-based. A lot of them are. No, like, I, I misspoke um, then. A lot of them are food-based, but, like, mo they're all puns, basically, except for yeah, Mr. Yeah. Popo. We think he might have just been, uh... I, I, I'm going by the Dragon Ball Wiki, but I, I, I've been told that he just was named after something, uh... Something that Tori... Uh, uh, it was just a name Toriyama liked, you know? Mm -hmm. It sounded soft or something. Yeah. Like, um... Uh, all the early Namekian things were named after uh, instruments like piccolo, tambourine. Yeah, yeah or... but that was before it was decided that piccolo was an alien, I think. Yeah, no, so they were just demons, sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. Um, can we spend this whole can we spend this whole part talking about name puns? Name puns. Okay. Do you know um, like a... Sanji from One Piece was originally going to be called Naruto? Oh, I know that. I, I heard that somewhere. I don't remember where. I think it was on Twitter. Yeah, it's because his eyebrows were curly, like the uh, the uh, fish cake. Yeah, things. I know what you're talking about. And that's where Naruto gets his name from, too. Those same little swirly they fish cakes. not to do that. You yeah, know, because there was another shonen show <laughs> called Naruto. <laughs> Interesting. As well as... Uh, uh, a lot of Pokemon names are punish. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's like, but like for some reason they named him Dialga, even though it would make more sense to call him Dialga because of Dial, like Sundial, you know. No, I was thinking like uh, Pikachu. It's just um, sparkle, the, sparkle, and something else. Yeah, it's the sound that a mouse makes plus the sound of like sparks. So it's literally squeaking spark. It's... The one I heard was the pika pika means sparkle, and then like the chew part comes from a mouse, so it's like a, a, a sparkle mouse or whatever. No, it's like sparks from electric or what have you. Like I sparks. genuinely thought it was sparkle. No, it's not sparkle. It's like sparks. Like rhyme means thunder, so it's little really thunder chew because chew is um, the sound that so I don't uh, want mouse to pee makes. Of a mouse. Yeah. I'm not arguing with that part, but I sincerely thought it was Sparkle. No, it, 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 I 100% guarantee you, it's not Sparkle to you. No, I, that I think sounds... it's only half, so it would be Spark Chew, because it's only one half of the word. Because the onomatopoeia is Sparkle, for Sparkle would be Pika. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway... anyway we're here in this town here. Yes. You know. We should probably talk about this for a second. I mean, even... I kind of don't like the captain's hat for some reason. I, I I don't know why. I just got rid of it as soon as possible when I played this game for the first time back in... It's because you can't... 2017. You can't wear a captain's hat without the full outfit or it just looks weird. Yeah, it is, I don't know. I, maybe that's it. I, I don't know for sure now. I did run out of money in, like, the post-game, which we won't be getting to. Well, we'll get to the Mushroom Kingdom, maybe, but we probably won't cover much after that, because I don't think it's necessary for this channel, you know. Are we gonna Viva Fa Festival? Viva Festival? Mm. Oh, you, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about for a second here. What? Alright, just because... Are you uh... talking about the one in New Donk City? No, I'm just saying everyone's got maracas and... Oh, okay. Ready for a party. Carnival! You know, from The Simpsons that one time. The the one time they went to Brazil. Mm hmm. Carnival. Yeah. It's like the whole country was offended at once, you know? Mm hmm. I don't know. Yep. Are the Simpsons, like, banned from, like, a bunch of countries? Not in real life, but in The Simpsons story. So, oh, yeah, we're banned from this country and this country and this country and this country. I, I can't remember right now. I, it's been a while since I watched it religiously or whatever. I, I can't remember, but like I think like, they're banned from England. 
Yeah, because they like knocked over the Queen's carriage or something. Yeah. If I remember. They're, um, I, I think they were also banned. I don't know. I don't know if they were banned, but they got into trouble in China because, like, Selma, Marge's sister, you know, she tried to come up with a scam to get a child. Yeah, yeah. Can we do that with a husband? She ended she up. got Homer on board. She ended up getting a uh, baby, though. Yeah, she did get the baby, but I think she wasn't allowed in China again. I, I don't know that for sure. It's been a while since I watched that episode. Mm -hmm. Homer did something stupid because he told everyone he was a Chinese acrobat. Got a bunch of people injured. You think that would go wrong immediately, you know? Mm. Like, he, he they, you know, say something like, Oh, I didn't know you were interested in Chinese culture. And he'd be like, what's Chinese culture or something? He's... Dumb, you know. Duh. Uh, we could talk about uh the Simpsons Hit and Run. I don't think we'll ever be getting to that, but uh. I want a Simpsons Hit and Run remake. Uh, I kind of worry that they'd add a bunch of dumb jokes from the current writers or whatever. I just want to be able to like play Simpsons Hit and Run on my Switch and have it like be HD, or at least oh, that'd clean. Be cool, but... Like, I don't need it to be I, a 100% remake, just for it to look nice and me able to play it on a current-gen console. Like, uh, like, uh, just a port or whatever, or... Yeah, fine, just a port with, uh, some updated graphics, or... Like, I honestly yeah. wouldn't mind if the... Like, if we did get a full-on remake, they'd probably make it, uh, the whole Springfield thing just, like, one giant city that you slowly unlock areas, and, you have they'd probably add a few more cars. Oh, fuck. I, I I wish they I I, I kind of wish Road Rage had been you know one big Springfield and I used to wish that for Hit and Run but I'm so accustomed to the way Hit and Run is now you know yeah it's nice yeah but after playing what was it's it um game. I think it was just called the Simpsons game wasn't it the one where yeah yeah but uh, they allowed but you I had the PS2 uh, yeah I had the PS3 one as well as the oh. like. Uh, Nintendo DS version as well. Oh, I did, I've never played that. I have no experience with the DS version. I've never even seen a walkthrough, but I know that the I I had the PS2 version where you can't run roam around Springfield. You have to just have the Simpsons house or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, I, I know. But um, in the PS3 version, the Xbox 360 version, and the Wii yeah, version, I know what you mean. um, you was able to uh walk around the Explore whole of Springfield. Yeah. yeah. And it was, like, quite fun just to look around everywhere. Yeah, uh, let's, let's not get too long about the version. I was going to say something about Hit and Run. I don't remember what it was now. I think it was something like... I have no idea what I was going to say. Go ahead and continue. Well, I originally played Hit and Run on the PS2, but I, like, a couple of years ago, because my original PS2 game ended up getting too scratched and no longer playable. Yeah. So a couple of years ago, I eventually got it for the GameCube, and I was able to play it on my GameCube yeah. as well as my Wii. So it's a game that I actually played through, like, not that long ago. Well, a few years ago. But yeah, um, I like how The Simpsons, there's some things in Hit and Run that, pre go, allude, that get reused for uh, Crash Tag Team Racing, like... Uh, some of the lines of dialogue from, like, random townspeople, like, this town is full of idiots or something like that. I, I can't remember the exact ones, but it's like, spines don't bend that way, you know, stuff like that. And, like, I think the drones were probably inspired by the people in the power plant from mm. Hidden Run. Like, um, one thing I do like about Simpsons Hidden Run is, um, that even if you can't complete a mission, if you try enough times playing that mission, they'll just let you skip it. Yeah, I know. I think we've talked about that before. Yeah, I know. It means that even if you suck at a certain level, you can still play through the whole yeah. game. Yeah, that's nice, because I couldn't get through like the first non-tutorial mission in that game. What, were you good? As a kid. Oh, as I, a kid. I was like, yeah, as a kid. I was fucking uh, 8 or something, or 9 or 10. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was like I was like 9. And stuff, you know. So I was, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was, I didn't know the shortcuts, you know. Yeah. And so it was hard for me to beat Principal Skinner, like fucking around with the game or whatever. 
Plus, it kind of started you off with a pretty mediocre vehicle. Well, yeah, it's actually one of the worst in the games, but you get the idea. You yeah, know? I, I, I was like nine. I can do it now. Yeah, I do like um, all the unlockables and stuff, like all the cars that you unlock. It's just, it's just yeah. one big uh, load of little Easter eggs and stuff like <laughs> a poo having a uh, Homer's, well, a poo getting Homer's like. Uh, the car he built himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that car. That's my favorite car in the game. It's the best car in the game. I don't think it's the best God tier. Car. Well, I mean, there are some that are faster or more durable, but like that one's probably not the middle of the ground between those two areas. It's like that most. Like it, it gets shit done, you know. I think the super villain car might technically be better, but I don't know that because I kind of hated that mission where you had to use it. Yeah. Do you know what? Um... You didn't really have to use it because you can glitch out the game. Yeah. Do you know what? I wish. That, um, because there's like a secret car in each of the levels, like there's the rocket car, yeah. there's the uh, speedboat yeah, car. There's a, but yeah. thing is, I wish you could actually like properly collect them where you could uh, you know, have yeah. them in the phone box and carry on reusing. Yeah, I, I wish that, I always wish that so badly, but like I think you can technically do it with a cheat code. Yeah, uh, you could, uh, I think, I believe there's a mod for it. I don't know about a mod, but like you can cheat your way into having all the vehicles, including some that you can't yeah, yeah. play, like the like the co the truck that had the video games in it. Mm -hmm. In that one mission, the Bone Storm game, Bone Storm game. Yeah, where Marge's car smashes into it. Yeah, yeah, Marge's car. Like she committed a crap felony to get kids to stop playing violent video games. You ever, you ever think about some of these missions? It's like insane. Yeah, she also does like. A similar thing in the other Simpsons game where it's like a itchy, scratchy GTA ripoff thing and she goes around Yeah, the I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I have played that game. It's been a while, but I remember like all the levels, not all the lines of dialogue per se, but yeah. like, basically every level I know a little bit about. Yeah. It's been a while though, so I don't remember the exact lines. Um, Marge, I, I was kind of bothered by the fact that she did that, but at the time I was also kind of not into violent video games, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like 10. I was 10, so I thought maybe they were too violent. No, I just don't even give a fuck, you know? Yeah. Um, which that game was pretty adulterated, too. I mean, it, it was a T for T rated game, but it got away with a lot. Mm -hmm. like, it, it got its mileage out of that T rating. Anyway, uh... I also like how, um... Apart from, like, I think maybe Lisa's, uh, everyone's cars that they end up getting throughout the game makes sense. Well, as well yeah, as maybe Bart's, um, like, the Bart's go-kart thing that he uses in, like, one episode that ends up being, like, his signature You car. mean that it's, I know what you're talking about, it's a soapbox racer and it's yeah. Martin's technically, but I associate that with Bart, because, yeah. well, because of the game, but you get the idea. Yeah. Um, I, I think it looks really cool. It does. Uh, I, I, everyone's, like, sense, but they couldn't come up with a car for Lisa, so they were just like, what if the Malibu safety car was, like, real and stuff? Yeah, no, but I believe, um, there was actually an episode with, like, uh, Mr. Burns. Oh, no, it was, um... Smithers? Yeah, it was Smithers. And, yeah. With the oh, Malibu. Boost this, you can't think. That's why I'm like, eh, it's not really Lisa's though. Yeah. Bart's is. Uh, where did that Ferrari come from though? What? Is that from the episode where the Ferrari that Bart drives in level 6? Oh, that's him. Um, that's Snake's car. Uh, no, it's not. Snake has his own car. It, it's. I think it's. Uh, I think it's from Mr. Burn, the episode where he had his own air, but I don't know oh, that for sure. I can't remember the exact scene. I, I, I honestly can't remember what car you're talking about. In, in level six, of the, after the first mission, you get this Ferrari, and it's called the Red Ferrari or whatever. All but right. Snake's car is called Bandit, and it's All right, pink okay. instead of red. Well, it's pink in the game. I think in the original All show right. it was red, but you get the idea. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think Bart ever drove that or had anything to do with that car, at least not at the time. There might have been a newer episode or something that came out after that, but. Yeah. I, all I know is that there was a Ferrari in one episode where, like, it was the Critic crossover where the Critic from that one show came over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and judged a film contest and shit. Yeah. 
we, you know, I think maybe we should talk about Mario for er, for a second. Uh, oh, right, right, right at the end we'll talk about Mario. Alright, let's talk about Mario Kart, shall we, huh? Like how we got yeah, a sponsorship we with a real car company and those, uh, <laughs> there's like realistic cars in Mario Kart. Well, they're not real realistic. But... Time out for a second, I just need to tell you that my Switch fucking got totaled and I have to send it in to get it replaced or whatever. Uh, what happened to it? Uh, I don't want to say exactly how it got damaged on here. I'll tell you after the part's over. Yeah. I'll well, we're you, al it... well, almost at it, so we'll say goodbye. Leave everyone in dispense. Yeah. <laughs> See you, everybody. Goodbye. Right, goodbye. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. Fuckers.